some men aren't looking for anything logical like money. They can't be bought, bullied, negotiated, or reasoned with. Some men just want to watch the world fucking burn. Why so serious? This uh, statement, this question posed by the Joker in the film, The Dark Knight, resonated with me in uh, an amazing way. Matter of fact, on the back of my uh, van, I got a sweet ass 1994 Chevrolet van we do van life in and a big picture of the Joker on it with the why so serious uh, caption. And this, uh, this has resonated with my being because we live in a culture, in a system that has taught you to be serious, that has taught you that you need to make sure you got your ducks in a row, your I's dotted, your T's crossed, you know, save your money, work hard, build bigger houses, get nicer shit, and you can be bought. The people that have bought into this system can be bought. They can be reasoned with. They can be negotiated with. People like me can't be. That statement and the Joker's character in the movie The Dark Knight, he's like my favorite character of all time, not because of the sinister things that he was doing, but because of just the position of his mentality. He was not bought by money. You couldn't buy him. He would light millions of dollars on fire just because he can. He couldn't be bought. He couldn't be bullied. He couldn't be reasoned or negotiated with. He just wanted to watch the world burn. And in my sense, I want to watch the world burn. I want to watch all that can burn, burn up in the fire of self-realization. I want to see each and every being step out of the system out of the cultural system that has kept you imprisoned in your mind. The system of ownership and possession. The system in which we think we own stuff, that we think we can own the land. No, you can't own land, man. Like the system where we think we own people. It doesn't matter what your relationship is with somebody else, you don't own another person. The system, this whole system is built on greed and self-comparison and self-centeredness. And as you step out of the system, man, the sky's the limit. You're stepping out from under the ceiling that's kept you so imprisoned, these four walls of the system that's kept you so imprisoned. And the bottom line is that the more that you awaken the reality of who and what you really are, the more that your consciousness expands, the more that those walls of that system, they can't contain you any longer. There's a certain point where it just doesn't matter what the governments are doing or what other people are saying or how they're treating you or, or um, you know, what they're trying to do to shut you down or to stop you. It just doesn't matter. It's all part of the game and you just enjoy it. It's fun. It's amazing. And I... Um, you know, just enjoying the game. I want you to enjoy the game. I want you to enjoy the body. You know, in yesterday's video here that I talk about, um, where I talk about the pursuit of pleasure and hedonist, this hedonist approach to the pursuit of pleasure, the system has is keeping you from being able to really enjoy and go after the things that you enjoy because it says, we have to do things this way. This is proper. This is right. This is acceptable. And there is a, an absolute way that we can all simply enjoy whatever is flowing in the moment. Your, your pleasures are going to change. The thing you might enjoy right now, you might not enjoy later. You might enjoy exploring your sexuality right now, but later on, you realize after you explore that for a little while that there was more pleasure in an inner world than there was in the outer exterior world of sexuality. Things change, man. They shift. But somebody's exploration of sexuality doesn't make them a whore. You know? But we live in a system that says, that makes you a whore. We, we live in a system that is continually trying to box people in and make everybody look uniform, make everybody look the same. 
And it's removing the individuality or the color from this beautiful scene, this beautiful canvas. And I'm saying, let's slap some fucking color on the canvas, baby. Let's slap it up. Let's throw some color out there. Let's enjoy and let go of the seriousness. The number one reason you have taken shit so seriously is because you've identified as needing to have a purpose. My purpose is to grow old, raise a family. In other words, you've kind of settled into this just beast mentality of, I, if I, I'm just going to... Um, go through school, get a good job, advance in my career, make money, save money, build a big home so that I can pass on money to my family, survival mode, but survive at a high comfortable, in a high comfortable way. Like in a, no, that is in and of itself, the system buying you off. We can help make you comfortable. Just do things our way. Mm, that's not life, man. That's not living. If that's really what you enjoy, then by all means, do it. But do it because you enjoy it. Don't do it because you are in it for the money. Don't do it because you're in it because I got to have a purpose to save for my family or I got to have the next best thing. That's all purpose driven. The moment you step away from the need for a purpose in religious cultures and systems, people they, they feed their people with purpose to manipulate them into doing, 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 doing to advance that religious behavioral modification system, that religious system that they're a part of. Any any time that someone is telling you let go of purpose, it's because they actually give a fuck. They actually care about you. And when you let go of purpose, you surrender your purpose, all of a sudden now you're free to just be. You're free to discover new things about your existence. One of the number one reasons people are depressed is because they don't they can't find purpose for their life because they've been so convinced and trained at a very uh, at a subconscious level that if you don't have a purpose that you are useless, worthless, how you have no worth or value to this to society. Women are trained that if they can't find that their their soulmate, their lover, their their marriage partner, and they then they're worthless because they're never gonna bear children, they're not gonna have a family. That's not true. Men are trained that if you don't get a good job and aren't a good provider, you're worthless. You have no purpose. Listen, enough with all this. Break free of this mental cage that you've been living in. If you've been living in this, time to break free right now. Because there are some men that aren't looking for anything logical like money. They can't be bought, bullied, negotiated, or reasoned with. Some men just like to watch the world burn. Some men just like to get high. Some men, women, just like to be and pursue their pleasure and enjoy living just enjoy living. Let go of all the other needs, all the thoughts of what you need and what you want, and just enjoy living, man. This is such a simple thought, such a simple concept, such a simple premise, but it can awaken in your heart, in your mind, where it's so much more than just a thought, just a premise, and it's a fucking realization that changes everything. You are amazing. Listen up, guys. Check out the daily video, the, the daily trip videos. Be sure to comment. Drop whatever comments, questions you have below. You're fucking awesome. Talk to you soon.